Just a couple more things I'm going to do to this old Harmony Hollywood guitar today. And uh, I'm going to seal the crack, check the frets, and polish the frets. That's what this video is about. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for coming back. And here she is. You remember this screw that somebody put in the heel right here, okay? Somebody put a screw down in there. I guess the neck had pulled loose, you know, from the block. It did because you can see where it cracked the finish all around here. That needs to be sealed so nothing else gets in there. You know, polish, skin oil, dust, the environment gets in there, and it will get in there over time to that uh, open grain wood that's under there, not protected by any finish. All I did is just crack the finish. That thing is solid as a rock now. So what I'm going to do is just take uh, probably tight bond, and go around that a real small little bead of it and what runs in there is fine but not much is going to get in there I can't even see light through it at all but there is a little bit of a crack there I'll get you and bring you over here and show it to you and also want to check the frets I think they're okay they look good but we're going to check them for high frets or low frets and uh, polish them so let's do it all I'm doing here just taking a fret rocker and I'm going to start on one side of the frets and work my way all the way across. You check three frets at a time. And uh, you don't want to just, you know, put it on there in the middle and check it and let it go at that. You want to go start at the very end of the frets and go all the way across. And, you know, if you have, you could have an end popped up and that fret appear to be higher than the rest of the frets. I've already checked this. None of the frets are popped up. But I'm just saying it could have, you know, like... This end of this fret says it's popped up, this end of it's not. It'll make this side appear to be higher. So you want to make uh, sure you check your frets before you do this and make sure they're all seated good and not popped up. That's all there is to this. I need to get a smaller, shorter one here. I think we're all good. These frets are not hardly, barely a little bit of wear on them. Not even enough to worry about. I'm going to have to get a, get a shorter one as the frets get closer together. And that's all there is to this. I'm going to polish these frets. They'll look like a new frets when I get done with them. Use the old semi-chrome. Now I need to get shorter, I think. That's, there we go. It's a little bit too short. Wow. One's too short and the other's too long. This one reaches, but just barely. I'm not hearing any rocking whatsoever. Now it fits better as the frets get closer together. So I think we're good there. I think the frets is okay. I do want to polish them with though. And I want to get you and bring you over here and show you what I'm talking about with this crack. It's just the, the finish is separated. Where it looks to me like this neck had moved forward, come loose right here and here, and pulled up just enough to crack the finish. They put that screw in there. It is solid as a rock, man. So I want to get you and show you what I'm talking about. We gotta get a uh, glue around that and seal it. See what I mean? There's the fretboard and the front binding to the top. There's the heel. It's so, so little of a bit. You can see it there though. Let me get up here on top and show you. It's the same, same thing on the other side too. Get the camera position right. Yeah, I think you can see it there. That just needs to be sealed up across there. Let me put the macro lens on and show you that. Hold on. Now it's going to look a lot bigger than it really is with this powerful lens on. If I can hold it still, man, this is one powerhouse lens right here. But you can see through this through this lens, it looks way bigger than it really is. We just want to get a bead of glue over that and up both sides of the heel and seal that. You know, polish will get in there. Skin oil gets in there. And, uh, you know, over time, stuff is going to get in there to that unfinished wood. We just want to protect it as best we can. So all the way up this side and the other side and that. 
Let's do it! Into this glue bottle is just perfect for this. I can force a little bit of glue down in there with the bottle nozzle. And want to wipe that again so. So the water will help it force it down in there. I ain't getting any glue. shoving the nozzle shut on it the thing works there we got glue ha <laughs> yeah boy when it did come out it came out with vengeance you just want to wait, let that run for a few minutes I can't do anything really because I'm going to turn the guitar up on its side to do the side so it will run help run in gravity will help feed it in that way too so we wait like I say not very much is going to run in there but what does run in you know, it's gonna, it's just gonna make, secure that even a little bit more. You don't really need it anymore. In fact, what I'm gonna do here now is put a little bit of stress on it, help open it up. If any glue does run in there, it will help it to uh, get in. <laughs> Trying to watch the camera, make sure it's turned on and working. And watching this crack, it's not moving, man. There is nothing at all moving right there. I doubt any of that glue is going to get in there. But, we've got to try. <laughs> you won't even know there's been glue on there once this sets up. Except the crack, you won't be able to see the crack anymore. Now I'm going to come back to that and look at it later. You probably will. Yeah, I need that other big neck rest. Taller. What's that thing in there? There we go. That's balanced enough. Can you still see? Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to fix that. And we'll get right in your way. And I guess when it comes down to someone seeing it's got to be me here I have to be able to see and there's a good coating of glue on that same thing just want to let it sit there just a minute and uh, do its job if it's going to run in there you know that's now so it'll do it Get my rag all untangled here wow I see a bubble so something's going on we just want to wipe all that up now. Fold that in so I don't get it all over the guitar. When that dries, it'll be sealed. And no polish or skin oil or anything like that is ever going to get inside of there. You see? That's the beauty of the beast. A little more running down. Backside too, it's okay. It's all gonna be good. <laughs> all right, that looks okay for the time being. Flop him over where you can probably see even less. Gotta get him solider than that. Yeah, that's good right there. All right. Wipe that down with water again. Just pure old water. That water will help this glue. If there's any place it can run at all, water just kind of helps it to do that. You see. Alright. Give that just a few minutes, see if we see any bubbles again. Now I'm going to get back there and wipe that that way. That way. I don't want to wipe it this way. Chance of getting it all over the fretboard. Wipe it back that way. It's got nowhere else to go except around that heel. And I can reach it easily. Very much easy. You'd be surprised. I've done a lot of guitars this way. Quite a lot of them, actually. 
had a D42 Martin sent here. If y'all been here a while, remember that guitar. Very high dollar guitar. I had to do this very same thing to it. Just to finish, they let go around that joint. And you can't leave that, that bare wood under there unprotected, man. You don't want to do that. Because eventually, like I say, it may take a long time, but it'll... Yeah, this shit will get in it. I want to do this one again. And uh, I won't hold you up for that. But I do want to do it again. And then I'll bring you back and we'll check those uh, polished frets right. I've already checked them. Let's hold on for that. Well, if I'd have been smart, I would have uh, polished the frets first. And... Uh, then turn the guitar over and do the the glue and the thing. And that would have had all night to run down in that crack that way. But I just set this guitar aside about 30 minutes and let it do its thing. And worked on an old melody maker, Gibson. Which I can't show you that guitar, but... In fact, I've got a bunch of them here I can't show you. But I will show you what I can. <laughs> I just used the same, same portion of the rag to put this stuff on. It gets grittier. Now you want to wipe it off with different, different portions for each fret. Look at that. Wow, man, what a difference in those frets. I hope the camera's getting that. The frets are a little bit rough. It's, it's like they're not a mirror image the way I do my frets. But they really don't need any work done to them, though, you know? I mean, there's no need in leveling and flattening them. I'd do it if that's what the, the owner wanted. I don't know if you can see a difference in that in the camera or not down to right here. From here down, they are Yellow City. Now, I won't hold you up too long for this. Because it's not really all that fun to watch. I'll just show you how I do it. This is Happich Semi-Chrome Polish. I think I might have told you one of the big wheels from Happich got in touch with me. And said he really thanked me for uh, the good words I'd said about their product. And... Uh, he talked like he wanted to do something. I don't know what he had in mind exactly. He said he was very busy right then and he would get back with me, but he's never got back with me. That's been a month or two ago now. I was hoping he'd send me, maybe send me a case of this stuff that I could distribute to you guys. But I guess we'll see. We shall see. Look how nice that fretboard looks and the frets now. Shining like new. I don't know if the camera will get that roughness in those frets or not. Let me see if I can get on it here. Yeah, I think maybe you can see that. There's just some, it's really hard to show under the light. You gotta be looking at them a certain way. That had to be from a factory like that. Very rough, and there's uh, like marks across the board. Every harmony's got it. Everyone I've ever seen had it. But guitar looks way better than it did. I'm gonna polish the entire body and everything up now. Next, not on video, but oh yeah, I touched up those uh, big chunks chunks that were knocked out. Touched all this up around here on the front and the back where you don't see bare wood. It doesn't just grab your eye and suck it there anymore. Looks way better. Touched all up around here where it was. Uh, the finish was chipped clear down into the bare wood so that all looks better I figure maybe the next uh, next video we're gonna string this puppy up let me show you the guitar under that light now you see the headstock looks your eyes just don't get sucked to that bare wood areas anymore same with the back I touched it up a little bit too if you remember what it looked like before I'll polish the entire guitar up check those frets out man wow that fretboard's shiny Lean seed, folks. It'll do it. But yeah. 
So uh, hopefully on the next video we'll get to hear this puppy. See what she sounds like at her best. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and keeping it here. Thanks to the new subscribers, the old ones, the patrons, everybody that uh, comments on the videos. Uh, every one of you, man. Thank all of you guys. I got to mention again, man, I'm sorry I can't reply to all the emails and uh, Facebook PMs that I get. Wow. I've been saying for a long time, you know, it was a lot. Well, it's, I can barely read all of them now. I do read them all. But there's no way, man, that I can ever reply to every one of them. Uh, I try very hard to. Some of them, I don't even know what you're, you're saying, man, what the, your meaning is. But I guess that happens with this many people. Anyways, thank you for everyone. Keep them coming. I do dig uh, reading them. And uh, dig your comments. How about thumbs this video up? That helps me a great deal. If you want to help me, take one second, thumb the video up, and it will help me big time. And I appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.